Hello friends, thanks for stopping by. Today's video is going to be a mini review, first impression on a very expensive foundation in my eyes. 88 bucks for a foundation is a lot of money, but we're going to give it a go. And then depending on the amount of time I have left in the video after I'm done, we don't want to take it too long, I will do perhaps a little haul. If I don't get to the haul in this video, I will have a mini haul that comes shortly after. All right, All right. so let's get started. Today we are talking about the Tom Ford Traceless Soft Matte Foundation. First we're going to see what Tom has to say about his foundation. The foundation is $88. Again, the name is Traceless Soft Matte Foundation. It gives you medium coverage. It has a matte finish. It comes in a liquid and it is said to be for normal, dry, combination and oily skin. I am normally very dry. Right now, being in Florida with all the humidity, my skin is, I will say, normal, more dry. But it's not as bad as it used to be because of all the humidity. All right, so uh, it also says that it is a long wear foundation infused with hyaluronic acid and light diffusing micro spheres for a blurring effect. I do like that because it'll blur out some of these lines on my face and a skin like matte finish and it comes in 40 shades. And again, the highlighted ingredients are hyaluronic acid. It has a blend of antioxidants, vitamin C, E and caffeine which will treat your complexion to all day ultra comfortable wear. It has, it has soft focus microspheres powders that give you a diffused blur light. Uh, it is free of sulfates, SLS, SLES, parabens, formaldehydes, formaldehyde releasing agents, phthalates, mineral oil, retinol, palmitate, uh, oxybenzone, coal tar, hydroquinone, triclosan, and triclocarbon. Uh, let's see, what else do you need to know? Tom says that the formula stays color true for up to 10 hours. I think that's a good amount of time, unless you're somebody who works a lot longer. And it's said to resist fading. It, it is, is a traceless soft matte foundation, provides a matte finish without looking cakey or dry. Keep in mind that I am a mature woman. I will be 61 right after the election, my friends. Yep. 61. I love it. Life is beautiful. And All right. So it goes on to say because of the soft uh, focus microsphere powders, it will blur the look of imperfections and wear extending pigments provide medium full buildable coverage that lasts all day without settling. Skin still looks and moves like skin and feels smoother over time, even after foundation has been removed. This formula is also humidity and sweat resistant. Well, I'm going to put it to the test today because I walk, it's probably going to be about 88 degrees today. And right around 2.30, my little golden doodle Lula will have to do her business. And I take her on about a 20 minute walk in the middle of the day when it is very, very hot. It's how she has to have it. <laughs> All right, so let's get started. Of course, I have my eyes already done just to save time. The bottle is a twist up pump. And let's go ahead, I'll just take two pumps so we can see the consistency of this foundation. It is a little bit on the thinner side. And the color that I am wearing is 5.7 Dune. Right. On my skin already, I do have my usual primer. Everything that I have on my face that I don't mention will be listed and linked below the video. Just open up the video and all the links are there for you to go and research the product or buy the product. It's totally up to you, my friends. Okay, so uh, we are going to get started. Now, my preferred method, I like to do my foundation reviews in the way that I would normally wear my foundations the way I would normally apply it. I'm not going to buy almost a hundred dollar foundation and have to learn how to use it. This foundation has to perform the way my others do in the way I like to apply it. And my most preferred way to apply a foundation, there are exceptions 
Few of them I do prefer with a foundation brush, but most of the time I'm using my Sonia Kaushik sponge and I just pounce it on my skin. So that is how I'm going to do my first impression mini review. So the color is pretty good. I probably could have gone a tad warmer for, um, the summer, but we're just going to go with this. So I'm going to start pouncing and I will see how the first coat a foundation or the first layer. It's not paint, Tammy, it's foundation. We'll see how it looks. So far, I am really impressed with the application and the sponge is working beautifully with it. It is giving a really soft focused look um, it's blurring out imperfections. Of course, it's not going to blur out my sagging skin, but it may blur out fine lines and, um, you know, the less noticeable things on your face and make them look better. I'm going to go right over my lip. Now this gave a perfect coverage for me. I really like this. I would, again, probably go a tad more golden with the foundation. My niece actually bought this uh, foundation and said, you know, try it and see what you think. So that's why I'm trying it. Um, I probably would have bought just a little bit warmer had I purchased it myself. So I'm going to go ahead and take one pump instead of two. And I'm just going to see how it builds up because I know many women like a little bit more coverage. And I think the more foundation we wear on our face, especially as an aging woman, that is when it starts to settle. So that's why less is more is always for me. But I don't have a whole lot of imperfections to cover, so I'm going to go ahead and apply this. Although, here is where most of my age is on my face. So that is where my foundation usually settles. Anywhere we have a crack on our face, the foundation is going to find it, my friends. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and just pounce this second layer. Okay, first glance of this foundation it is gorgeous, absolutely beautiful. Have no idea how it's going to settle throughout the day or how it's going to hold up. But right now, first impression, it is a spectacular finish. I absolutely love it. It's not too shiny, doesn't look greasy, but yet it's not so matte that it's making me look older. So let's see how it feels on the skin. It has a little bit of tackiness to it. We'll see how this dries down. I am going to apply my makeup in the order that I normally would. So I will be putting a little bit of powder right through here and a powder around here because I'm going to put a bronzer on in my blush. But the areas that I'm not going to really add anything else to in the form of powder, I'm going to leave those without powder so we can see how it wears throughout the day. But right now it does have a moist feeling to it. But by the time I'm done, it may feel better. But I have to say the finish is incredible. It is a little too light for me, but let's just ignore that. Okay. Because as I mentioned, this is my niece Ashley's bottle. And if I love it and believe me, I don't want to love it because I don't like paying over $50 for a foundation. There are so many foundations that are fabulous in the drugstore that there's really no reason to buy a high end, but I do like to dabble in them. Yes, I do. All right. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and do my concealer. I'm not going to really talk about the things I'm doing now because it's more about the foundation and I would like to get to my little haul. So remember, everything will be listed and linked below. I'm either going to turn the camera off and come back when it's all finished, or I may fast forward the whole thing. So just hang tight. Friends, I am back with the finished look. Remember everything that I put on my face will be listed and linked below for you, including the color. All right. So just hit show more and it'll all be down below for you. So let's take a look at the foundation. It's been on my face for about, I'd say 25 minutes. So I, I have to start out first by saying that this is 
a spectacular finish for foundation. It is, it's not too shiny and it's not too matte. It really has a beautiful, beautiful, almost like it has a gorgeous glow to it. And the coverage now for me, the second layer really didn't make it you know, cakey or anything like that on my aging skin. So I can even get away with two layers if I want more coverage. Now, is it gathering anywhere in the lines on my forehead? I have very, very deep lines right here and here and on this side as well. And I have a deep line that runs through the forehead. And this is not gathering so far. Now, I usually do have a little bit of problem here with makeup foundation separating a little bit so far so good it's not really gathering in my 11s i did uh, not put it underneath my eyes so we cannot go by my eyes which have the most wrinkles on my face under my eyes and on the side it's not gathering in any of my little crow's feet uh, i don't have many wrinkles on this part of my face it is beautiful there now the now, test will be all around here because that's where i have some of my sagging this is where some of the skin slightly folds over around my mouth Her hereditary my friends hereditary my mother it's like looking at the lower half of her face um, right now there's a little bit gathering right here this is my deepest line right here on this side and there's a little bit gathering there and then on this side, this side folds over a little bit more because that has been my sleeping side for years. So when I lift this up, I do see a little bit of foundation in there, but so far, not too bad. And around my mouth, uh, I have a lot of lip lines on the top lip, especially. And I'm not seeing, it's not too bad right now. Now around the nose, around the folds, it's not really gathering. It is beautiful my friends it's really really a beautiful foundation and, and it turns out that this color is really not bad for me once i get my bronzer and my blush on so we're going to come back i'll take some pictures outside see if i can get some good pictures i have not really learned how to work with the florida sun yet but i'll try to get some pictures outside i'll take a picture indoors and then if it's after three or four hours if it's still playing well it's gonna it's gonna be okay on me now in two or three hours if it's really accentuating this it's not going to get any better so i'll be back all right so let's just briefly show you a couple of things that i have purchased i did not purchase this this was sent to me but i think it's a very important thing to mention because October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month and it's very important that every single month you check your own breast and if having a special cream like this helps you get it done then get it done me I just do it in the shower when I have soap but this cream was formulated by Colleen Rothschild for your boobs my friends and it tells you exactly on the box how you should be testing your breast and i'm going to show you right on the hand the cream is a very thick cream but it has a nice slip to it and that is what's important it's even pink my friends i don't know if you'll be able to see that but it's even pink it's a very light pink i'm going to put just a little bit of this on the back of my hand and i will show you the cream is very lightweight it has a very soft floral scent to it it's not colleen is known for scents and this has a very soft scent you may be able to still smell it but check your breast before you get in the shower if the scent bothers you anyway uh, we're going to put the cream all the way around our breast all right so the cream is all over our breast you first want to go up and down and really i i just get really quiet and I just focus on what my fingers are doing and I go up and down. And, and another reason why it's good to do this or get in the habit of doing this monthly is because you become very familiar with your own breast and you will know, oh, wait a minute, that wasn't there last month. So just go up and down first and then go in a circular motion and really give it a little bit of pressure and go in a circular motion and then just go all the way around the breast going up and down on an angle out and 
up and then you're done, but you're not done totally. You need to go underneath your armpit. If you ever notice when your doctor is examining your breast, they always check underneath your breast. So take the cream, go underneath the breast and just go up and down, go in circular motions and then maybe go horizontal, but check underneath your arm as well. So I think this is really a fabulous, fabulous cream. And I believe that you can use the code on this to get a little bit off. Your boobies are worth it, my friends. All right. So let's move on. And there's many ways. People call them all different things, my friends, all different things. And Colleen designed the box. So that's really kind of cute. All right. So on my lips, I'm wearing the Koi from Fit Glow Beauty and I'm wearing it with a new lip liner. Normally I like this with Spice by MAC because it just gives it a little bit of oomph as far as color. These are spectacular glosses. I've been talking about them for a very long time now. But today I have it on with, this is from Anika and this is an organic line, uh, Australian I believe. And this is the Lipstick Crayon. I really like this, but it's such a beautiful color, my friends. Really a pretty color for just a very neutral lip. And that is the color. And let me just go ahead and show you the Koi on its own. This is my most favorite. This is the one that made me fall in love with all of the Fit Glow Beauty serums, lip serums, because they do have really good ingredients in them. So this is our Fit Glow right here. And then the liner. And I just lined the uh, edge of my lips and filled it in with this. And just beautiful, my friends. But I wanted to just talk about this for a moment because this one here I wore in a video, Bloom. This is their newest color. And it is be it should be available any day now. So if you like this color or you've been waiting for it ever since I wore it, then you will want to keep an eye on Freeze Co. Beauty because you can use my code on Freeze Co. Beauty for the Fit Glow. You cannot use it on Fit Glow Beauty, only on Freeze Co. Beauty. This is Bloom. It's a beautiful, beautiful fuchsia, but many of you had asked me, how does it compare to Gospel? I guess many of you wear Gospel. So I am going to show you Gospel right next to it so you can see, because I think if you like Gospel, you are going to absolutely love Bloom. So this is Gospel. Notice it's just a little bit darker. This and the Bloom is just a little bit brighter. So beautiful, my friends. I love them both. Many Actually, uh, Gospel was one that many of you told me about after I started wearing this one. And I love it. And I have to tell you, it's not normally... Um, a shade that I love, but I do. I'm branching out, my friends. With age, I'm changing. I'm trying everything. I'm going down with no regrets, my friends. While we're right. talking about Anika, I also have two of their regular lip liners, and one is in New Delight, and the other is in Safari. On my hand, this is the Safari, definitely a plum nude. And then this one here, notice that it has a satin finish to it, but it is also a plumier nude. I prefer them without any shimmer, but I know that some people really do like shimmer liners, especially if you're someone who wears a satin finish lipstick, you may want your liner to look like that. So that is an option. I have um, two lip glosses from Anika. And the first one is called Blossom. I'll put that on my hand here. I'm going to put it on really thick first, and then I will shear it out for you. That is the Blossom. It's really beautiful. It would be a gorgeous topper, especially in the center of the mouth. It is really pretty. So now I'll shear it out for you so that you can see the color. It definitely, it's a very uh, pale peach. Really, really pretty. I'm trying to angle it all different ways so you can see it. Gorgeous, gorgeous gloss. Really, really pretty gloss. And the next one, I love a bright gloss. And I like that you can wear these a little thicker or you can shear them out. This one here is called Coral. Really, really pretty. It's very vivid in color. Many of you liked the Spark from Fit Glow Beauty on me. This one is very, very similar. Very bright, has a coral pinky undertone. 
and I will shear it out slightly. But very, very pretty. Love them both. The next one I have is from Suntegrity. It's a mineral sunscreen lip gloss, but it has an SPF of 25. And this one's called Creamsicle. And I will put this one right across. This is beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Now this one here has more of a, it's absolutely a pinky peach tone again, but it's not as the, one from Anika has a little bit more, it's paler in the peach pinky okay, tone. Okay, so I'm trying to work with the sun here, obviously. Uh, all right, so this is the Sun Tegrity SPF 25, and this is in Creamsicle, and it really does look like a Creamsicle color. Okay. Really pretty. I have one more item and it is from Hourglass and it is the Ambient Lighting Infinity Powder. It's really pretty, love it. I have it on the tops of my cheek right here. Just a very small amount of it. It's just really a pretty, pretty powder that leaves just a very subtle glow without any glitter. All right, my friends, so that is it for the little haul part. I am going to be off with my day, and I will be back in a couple of hours to give my final thoughts on this $88 bottle of foundation. All right, so stick with me, and I will be right back. Well, it'll seem like I'm right back to you, but I'm actually back in a couple of hours. All right, see ya. All right, friends, so I am back. It is about 3.30 in the afternoon, so I've had the foundation on for about six hours, and I just got back from walking Lula. And it is, humidity's not real bad today, but it is up there. So I thought I would come back with a final look-see at the foundation. And I did replenish my lipstick, and I'm also wearing something different when I came back. I'm trying the uh, Fenty uh, Gloss bomb, bomb Gloss or something. I really like them. Nice. And this is the uh, something rose. It'll be beneath the video. Well, anyway, let's get on to the foundation. Um, I do think looking at me, the foundation really wore well. Uh, I do think there's a little bit of breakthrough right here, and I'm not a real oily person, so I'm not sure, because it does say that it's for all skin types, so I'm not sure how it would wear on somebody who has a really oily T-zone. I think you might find some sliding going on. but and, and it's only right here that it seems to have a little bit of breakthrough. Um, it wore really well on the rest of the skin, it's not gathering in any of my forehead lines at all, and that is unusual for me. Usually I find a lot here, and I do get a lot of separation here. None of that is happening. I, I want to make, I didn't really talk about this uh, in the beginning. I do have on the primer that I usually wear with most foundations. I will say that my pores are accentuated a little bit right in the 11 area. And um, a little bit right here, my pores are accentuated. Um, not so much that it would prevent me from wearing this foundation. So now let's take a look at the problem area, and that is the lower half of my face. I also talked on the phone with my sister for about an hour. Fo phone slammed right up against my face the whole time. And I will say that right here, it kind of lifted off. You can almost see that uh, where it lifted off, right here. And then it actually, you, it, the foundation is back intact here. So it does have some wear off. Now for the folds, the problem area around my mouth, it's not, it's not gathered in the lip lines at all. Although my lip lines, um, they are showing up. And this gloss does seem to travel a little bit in my lip lines, but my lip lines are very, very deep. Uh, on this side of my face, if I lift this up where it sags, the only place it is gathered is right here. And just by pressing it, it goes away. But it really did not gather a lot around the nose area. Now on this side where I actually sag a little bit more, um, it's not so bad. It really is not bad. I didn't want to like this foundation because it's $88, and I think that's steep when there are many choices and many price points. Um, and to be honest with you, outside of a few Tom Ford lipsticks, I'm not crazy about the Tom Ford line. It's kind of like Chanel. I can take it or leave it. 
But um, I know many people absolutely adore the Tom Ford line. The blushes are supposed to be phenomenal. I shouldn't say that I don't care for the line. I'm just not overly impressed. I do think that I have many a lipsticks of Tom Ford. I do think they are fabulous. Um, but anyway, and the eyeshadow I have, Coco Mirage, and it's okay. I don't reach for it all the time though. So uh, with that being said, let's move over to this side. And it really is not gathering in this area either. So overall, didn't want to say this, but it really is a beautiful foundation. It really is. It has beautiful coverage. You can go lightweight or you can build it up. It really has a beautiful finish. It has a gorgeous satin matte finish, really beautiful. There isn't a little extra glow right here because I did use um, the hourglass on my cheeks. Uh, I'll have that link below what exactly it was that I used, but um, really, really beautiful. I mean, if I turn, you can see it just really gives a flawless finish. And I don't think that it has really accentuated, even in my chin area, sometimes it'll gather right here. Uh, there's nothing in there. There's a little bit of separation here in between the nose area right here. It's laying perfectly. It really is holding up well, my friends. I do think that just slightly it oxidized, which was okay for me because it was just a tad too light for me. Uh, not even too light, a little too neutral. I need something a little bit more olivey or golden tone, but I gotta say 88 bucks. I love it. It's beautiful. It really is. Next up, I just bought the new Chanel and I bought a new Wet n Wild as well. And I'm gonna end this video now because my doggy girls are getting crazy and they're gonna knock my can, they made me crooked. Let me fix that. As I was saying before the dogs decided to rearrange the angle of my camera by knocking the tripod, <laughs> uh, it really is a nice foundation. It really, really is. It also did not have any smell to it going on. I forgot to mention that and it feels really good on the skin. It feels weightless, and uh, it doesn't have a tacky feel to it anymore. Really, really nice. I did not want to like it, my friends, but I'm afraid I do. It is a beautiful, beautiful foundation. All right, if my you, friends, so that is it. If you have been wearing this foundation, let us know in the comments what your results with it are. What type of skin do you have? Do you have a lot of texture to your skin, a lot of wrinkles? Uh, just let us know in the comments what you thought of it. Again, it is a higher priced foundation, 88 bucks. I know there are more out there that are even more expensive, but I don't usually go looking for them at all. But this one, as I mentioned, my niece actually bought this and said, you have to try it and left it for me to try. And it is beautiful. She loves to spend my money, that one. I'm not even sure that I would go and buy it because I have so many other foundations that I really love. But this is a gorgeous foundation, my friends, if you are looking for something new on the expensive side. All right, I have some more foundations coming up. I purchased the Chanel, the newest one from Chanel. I have a new Wet n Wild. I don't know how new it is, but I did pick up the bottle because it said new, so I bought it. Uh, I think it's Wet n Wild. I don't think it's NYX. I think it's Wet n Wild. Uh, anyway, I have a couple more. They won't be reviews. They'll be more like this or me just wearing them and letting you know I'm wearing that foundation and I like it. Um, I think foundation is a very personal thing. I think what works for one person may not work for the next. I think we all like different coverage. We all like different finishes. Uh, we all have different textures to our skin. I have purchased foundations in the past that people have said, oh my God, this foundation is so good. It really is a personal preference foundation. It's like a bra. It has to fit the perfect way. All right, my friends, I'm going to let you go. If you haven't already subscribed, I would love to have you as an ageless beauty. So hit the subscribe button and the bell. Until the next time, my friends, go out in the world and be lovable. I love you all. Bisous, my friends. Bisous.